What's up everyone? I hope you're doing well today. Hey everyone, what's up? I hope you're doing well. In this video, what you see on your screen is what we are going to be designing today. And it's very easy, even though it requires a few tips and tricks, but trust me, everything is going to be explained in this video. And before we get into it, just in case this is the first time you are seeing my face, I invite you to hit on the subscribe button to join this community so we can hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year. And just in case you are on the free version of Canva, I have a special link in the description box below that'll help you upgrade to canva pro for free so make sure to check it out and let's dive straight into today's video So I want you to know that the link to all of these can be found in the description box below. Once you click on it, it should open a blank canvas just like this. So you have everything we need for this tutorial. Okay. So amazing, amazing, amazing. The first thing we are going to do is I'll just create a new page. Okay. Or a blank canvas like this. Then I will choose this image. First of all, come here and paste it over here. And I'll make the image big just like what we have. Like this. Okay. Something sweet like this then choose the second image copy it bring over here and paste it and we are going to increase this one also okay very big like that and it should look like this then bring the second image in front just in case you don't know how to do it right click come to layer and come to show layers okay uh -huh. then you just drag you can just drag them okay so the city building should be behind and this is how it should look then hit on this okay the image with the lady smiling she's so pretty oh okay then come to bg remover it should remove the background okay but you see it has removed everything from the image and that's not what we want exactly so come to bg remover click on it again and click on restore okay then show original image toggle it on so we can see it then i want us to add all of this area she's standing okay except the c okay so let me zoom in a little bit okay then i just click to add them and you may not get it perfect okay but uh you can also try to get something clean okay so then something like this and yeah and you just do what i'm doing just in case you want to be zooming in and zooming out wherever you move the brush and you zoom in that's where you know the zooming in is going to affect so just take notes of that okay yeah so i'll just speed up the whole process fantastic so you can see what we have at the moment it's not the best i've done but you know at least it's something we can manage okay then increase the size of the city you can make it do extra big and make sure you are dragging it now so you can see what we have at the moment something sweet like this okay so what i want us to do first of all is you know crop it okay make sure it's looking clean okay then duplicate it okay so once you duplicate it this is what you are going to have and you can just remove the background okay so come to bg remover and remove the background so you i think what we can expect is the buildings okay alone uh -huh, like i said so we have this like this and we can crop it this way okay then duplicate it again okay and this time around what we are going to do is we'll just drop it a little bit okay and just position it right on top but come to bg remover okay then we are going to clear the buildings okay so you can zoom in come to you know the brush then we'll take off the building make sure you are doing this nicely okay so reduce the brush size to get something clean okay yeah so you see what i'm doing and i'm also going to speed up the whole process of this one as well amazing okay then we send it back and all we are simply going to do is to just place it on top of the image you can see we have this over here and i'll bring this in front okay yeah so that we actually don't see the difference okay so now that we've done this we want to make sure the image this image is matching what we have okay so i will just click on it come to edit photo in edit photo let's come to adjust and we can increase the saturation okay a little bit okay and you can see it's beginning to match 
and the vibrance also a little bit it's kind of like matching then the tint you know the temperature rather will keep it warm okay so that is matching our image so you can see how this is looking at the moment now let's add our text so to add your text press t on your keyboard and just in case your t on your keyboard is unavailable because it's busy with some work what you can simply do is you can come to text and in text just add in you know then in text click on add a heading okay so over here i'm just going to say travel okay so travel increase the size make it bold okay increase the size okay so something like this and i'll bring it to the bottom over here okay then let's right click come to layer come to show layers and we are just going to send it behind okay so it should be behind the image of the grass okay or the image with the grass okay you can see what we have at the moment which is looking very very beautiful then what we can simply do is we can add another text okay so we can select this and duplicate it bring it to the top okay then i can maybe say work and travel or anything i want to say maybe trade and travel okay so to edit it make sure i'm bringing it to the front to show layers and bring the second text to the front so it's easy to edit okay so I can say work and travel okay so the work I'll put it here and now you reduce the size okay, to something like this then what we can simply do is we can also duplicate the text okay and we can say end okay so we just put something here like this and we will reduce the size put it somewhere here then press here on your keyboard to add a circle reduce it bring it over here and you know something like this okay which is looking very clean now with the circle you may want the circle to match you know your desire so you can just come into color click on add the color click on the color button and just choose any color okay so yeah this is what we have then we can choose this aeroplane or plane and <laughs> you see what i just did oh my god so you can just flip it okay something like this and make it small because it's in the sky so you can just make it small something like this and with the color we are going to you know adjust it a little bit so we'll make it warm okay then increase the saturation a little bit so that everything gets to be matching in the video then we can add clouds so come to elements and you can search for clouds okay and then you can just add it and you can try to do your own thing over here okay just to tweak things a little bit so this is what we have then i want us to add some extra text okay so to do that we can just duplicate this bring it over here okay then all i'm simply going to do is i'll come into apps i'm going to add a dummy text because you know i just want to add a dummy text but for you just in case there's something you want to use it for or there's something you want to write you can just do that okay so i'll come to apps and i'll search for can lorem can lorem okay so can lorem and it should pop up we just click on it so you can use this to generate any sentence you want then i click on add to design okay right now it's too smooth so i can just select everything and use ctrl x to cut and ctrl v to paste it over here okay then we can just align it to the left and you can position it here or you can position it somewhere here depending on what you want okay then we would you know reduce the line spacing i'll take the board off and maybe we just want something easy and simple like this okay all right then the last thing we can do which is optional is press r on your keyboard okay and just provide or well, move it here and <laughs> not provide okay then come to this then set it to white okay set, first of all set it to white then click on the white again come to gradient the second color make it transparent to so move the transparency like that all the way to zero okay then choose the linear gradient okay after you do that come to position in position head on to layers then set it to set the rotation to 180 okay so something like this and yeah this is what we have then we just drag it down a little bit okay yeah 
then you can add any text out to you want at the bottom if you want or you can add your website your email and phone number things like that you can just add it there for how people can contact you okay and yes that's how to create this design inside of canva i hope it was very easy and simple to follow and i also hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did like subscribe share this video with anyone you know who uses canva and i would really appreciate that from the bottom of my heart the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video oh thank you all for joining me for an evening of conversation and vittles